really the, the primary goal initially was to just create something here. You know, as hokey as that might sound, we, we wanted to make something in West Virginia. The more we explored the idea of a distillery, uh, the more convinced we became that it was, it, it was a good fit. So Tag and I were in another business together. We were really, really busy in our other business until the crash of 2008. And so once September or October of 2008 hit, we basically went 100% on trying to make this a reality. We just have always been passionate about having a good drink and then once we figured out that we could make it, that passion turned into having and being able to make one. It was a pretty toward pace. We're around August and then uh, we're actually up in production in March of 2010. It has started in a very grassroots kind of way, just going out and, and getting people to taste it. One of the benefits of being a small guy, and really one of your strong points is, when you talk to me and John and Nick, you're talking to the guys that actually make it. But we're not a big guy pretending to be a small guy and all this looks really quaint. You know, when you see Foster or JF on a bottle, it's because I actually held that bottle in my hands, signed it, wiped it off, stuck it in a box, and closed up the box. One of the problems is that people have been trained to like this non-flavor product. Oh, they want their vodka to taste like nothing. Wow, you paid $30 for a fifth of alcohol that tastes like nothing? You can do that for $7. What we're trying to create is something that has character, that has flavor behind it. I would say that really the key to a good small guy is the quality of his ingredients and then the talent and skill that they have for distilling and for making those heads, hearts, and tails cuts. Because that is what you don't get from a lot of the larger guys. That process is either skipped entirely or it's automated in some way. We want you to know that you're drinking something that has really been tended over and shepherded from the second the grain arrives from our, our farmer to when it goes into the bottle. For us, that's what the premium cut is. We're not going to be good for every single person. Some people aren't going to like us. That's okay. The majority of people are going to appreciate what we do and appreciate the character and the flavor in our product, and that's really what we're proud of. You know, there's no better response in the world to what you do than when somebody tastes your product and tells you, this stuff is great. You know, that never gets old.